Hi, Ken Park here and welcome in this new vlog. So we are in Moonsbar Skate Park where Sunday sadly none of my friends could skate today so I'm alone it's around I don't know 5 p.m. just gonna try where is the light gonna try to have a two three hours session the thing is the sky look at the sky the thing is it's not supposed to rain but it feels like it's either not going to rain at all or raining 12 seconds well I hope it's not the second option <laughs> so other thing yeah sadly the box wet bigger side wet I haven't checked that out maybe it is maybe that is too so well we are just going to see what is possible to do right now well, literally 12 seconds later I just put my board out guess what it's ready <laughs> I hope it's just a few jobs come on Come on, it's the only free day I have right now. <sighs> you know what makes me extremely mad? It's now that I, it's, now it's all, all wet. Anyway, it's not possible to skate. Guess what? It has ended up raining. It doesn't rain anymore. It, it, you know it, what it feels like? It feels like modern Asia is just acting like that. I think it was going to be dry. <laughs> Told you. Right now it's really extremely windy so I have no idea if you can hear me or not. But we are in my local skate park. Uh, actually, for something that I call the local skate park, it's been so much time I haven't been here, like months, probably five, no, four, a lot. Uh, see the dark sky all over here? Normally the wind comes from there, so it's extremely windy, so I, I don't see how this can come here and rain. Because look the weather here, it, it has never rained. Anyway. Now I think it's the right time to have fun on our board on a dry floor. joke with Palin if you don't understand why I had a, a, uh, a Palin stickers on my face go check his channel you just totally understand ah well um, the last trick oh my god it, it's it's inspired by Palin because it's a trick he always do but not the end like not the 270 out and I, I didn't expect to land it like like it came like that and I, I'm, I'm so happy for a day that started under the rain and under heavy frustration I'm happy especially <coughs> because uh, I like to go skate in a place that I had in mind it's how I, I will say I, I progress intentionally uh, because when you progress in skateboarding you have a part that you can somehow control and somehow a part that you can't and I, I like to move from park to park like uh, I land sometimes a new trick in a park and I'm like okay this could be so well go so well in that park and I had some idea for Moons Bar and uh, when I, I knew I had to change park, especially I didn't know if I, I could still skate, uh, when I knew I had to change park, I was like, I don't have a single idea what I'm going to do in my local skate park. And you know what? I don't know why it come more often here, like this, this ramp is so easy to skate. I don't know, it's, I, I know it's not a very good example. Oh, uh, very good practice, but so so much fun. And anyway, skateboarding is about fun. So, yeah, I should come definitely, definitely 
more here. Uh, the thing now is that I'm I'm going to take a, a little three days break of skateboarding. Uh, first of all, because I work during three uh, during three day and the schedule doesn't kind of allow me to skate, and also because my body uh, kind of requires it. I feel it. Um, I've done stretching and all that stuff, but like uh, right now, I haven't. I never skated that much in my entire life as I have done the past couple months, and I feel like my muscle or uh, my bones or anything in my body needs like three days. And it's not complete, completely, uh, completely um, off exercising because uh, you know I, I'm I'm working in a I'm I'm not working in a chair in an office. So. Uh, I have I still have to move but uh, no impact on those stuff for three days that's gonna be that's gonna be great I, I want to skate I definitely want to but uh, I think that the, the best thing you can do if you want to skate during a long time especially if you want still want to skate your, uh, after your 30s after your 40s and maybe after your 50s is to listen to your body when you have the time to do it and not when you especially uh, when uh, the doctors say you have to stop or something, so I'm, I'm more preparing my my future. So I guess it's something clever. I guess. Anyway, this is the end of this vlog. Um, I hope you liked it. It's probably a bit short, but uh, anyway. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel for two videos a week, uh, hit the the pancake button because we only pancakes in life. And of course, see you next week. Take. Yeah. <laughs>